Let's take a look at our tip of the week. Today we're going to be talking about importing standard steel profiles. A lot of times when we're using a, a fairly standard um, steel profile, it doesn't always make sense for, for time-wise to create a custom profile for it. Custom profiles are great for those uh, less common instances, but a lot of times we're going to be able to find these profiles and these structures within our structure, our steel structure library. And this is, when I say library, it's, a, it's an outside library, so it's not a library object, but it is a part of our complex profiles. So to get there, we go to options, down to complex profiles, and we're going to go to import a standard steel profile. From there, um, you're going to go ahead and click the country or select the country that you are wanting to import the standard steel structures for. You can see all of the different options there. And then once you select them, you are going to have a list. Uh, let's see if my next slide shows it. It does. Okay. So we are showing within our country, right? We select the shape that the, we want that profile to be. And then we're going to get a list of the standard profiles within that T shape. Okay. We would select the profile that we're looking for. Okay. It's going to give us a preview and it's going to give us the specs for that. And we're going to say add the profile to the project. We're going to assign a building material and you have all of your building materials within your project to choose from for that. Add any additional steel profiles. So if you have more than one that you're wanting to bring in, um, you can add multiple at a time. And when you're all done, you click the import um, function. And then those will be added as profile options within our beam and column tool. Okay, so that's where it, it differs from a library object, that this is a profile option within the tool itself. So when we open up our beam or our column tool, when we're looking at our segment, and we have our structure options here. We'll go into this a little bit more once we're in ARCHICAD, but we have our three options here. So we have a standard square where you would be able to um, customize the measurements there. Same thing for a circular beam. And then the, the, structural, the st structure profile beams are here. So you have everything that comes in with ARCHICAD plus any of those steel profiles that we just imported.